Welcome back to Free Edu Hub. Let's try to install Windows 11 Insider Preview using VirtualBox. You can find another tutorial about VMware Workstation for Windows 11 on our channel. But since some students don't have the VMware Workstation Professional, so there was a request to install Windows 11 Professional Insider Preview on VirtualBox. So, uh, let's see how can we install it. First of all, if you don't have VirtualBox installed on your computer, you can go to virtualbox.com, their website, and you can go to downloads and download the version of VirtualBox on your computer depending what kind of operating system you're using. I'm using Windows, so I have downloaded the Windows version, which is 6122. Make sure that virtualization is enabled in your BIOS before you proceed because uh, if it's not enabled, you won't be able to run the virtual machines on your computer. Anyway, let's start. First of all, we'll click new over here and we'll name the uh, file, for example, Windows 11 Insider Preview, which is of course 64-bit. Uh, just to be clear about it, Microsoft is not releasing any 32-bit variants of uh, Windows operating system anymore. So you'll find only 64-bit operating systems uh, released now and onwards. Then you can select a path of it where you want to install your uh, virtual machine. We are keeping it in a different directory. The reason is that mostly if we we'll place it on the C drive, uh, there are reported problems. People have some issues ha creating the virtual machines in the C directory. That's why we are keeping it in any other partition other than the partition for your operating system, which is mostly uh, the C drive. Then you'll select the operating system type. It's Windows and here you'll select uh, Windows 10 64 bit and press next. Uh, depending on the RAM that you have on your computer, it would suggest that you can have this much RAM. Uh, keep an eye that this green mark means that you can comfortably allocate any RAM in this area. This area in the pink region is a bit risky and try not to have the RAM allocated in this red region because that's for your host operating system. Since I have 32 gigs of RAM on my machine, so I'm trying to give around about uh, 8 gigs of RAM to this virtual machine. And uh, let's proceed. Um, I'll keep the settings as it is uh, without changing anything over here. Create and then create a virtual hard disk, PHI, and then move dynamically. No, we'll try to have it fixed. Um, yep. Uh, 50 GB is more than enough though 30 GB is uh, uh, the minimum requirement but we'll uh, keep it as 50 gigs and then press create it would take some time let it complete and then we'll proceed as you can see our virtual machine is ready you can review the settings over here for example the RAM allocated is 8192 and uh, floppy disk drive storage controller, SATA port number one, optical drive is empty. So if you want, you can click on it and uh, select the image that you have. In our case, we'll be installing a uh, Windows 11 Insider Preview. So we'll go to the path of it and we'll uh, select the file. As you can see, we have selected the set up port number one optical drive which is the latest build insider preview of windows 11 professional uh, 22000 5120617 that's the latest build of it once that's done let's press start and it would pop up a window over here with the virtual machine of uh, windows 11 and as you can see, it's starting. The setup for Windows 11 Professional Insider Preview. So 
So you'll select the country over here and it's been impressive so far but very much similar to the leaked version of Windows that we saw earlier. So far there is no difference in the overall interface of it and it's checking for updates and it's taking some time to check the updates but unfortunately there is no button over here in order to skip it and finally it's done it's asking for the name of your PC so let's call it Windows 11 and uh, proceed okay so it's asking I'll use it for personal use Since I don't want to log in over here, I'll use the offline account and then I'll press limited experience and uh, don't sign in and then I'll type in and you can choose the password since it's for testing purposes I'm not entering any password but it's highly recommended to have a password over here. Also, I'll just uh, switch off these options. Just a person preference, no special reason. And it's setting up the profile for us. It looks really not professional as the other interface is concerned. This interface is not looking as professional and not going with the overall look of the window so far. So that's the initial interface of our Windows 11 Insider Preview and uh, let's see some settings. That's quite strange as you can see the corners of this one is disappearing when you're right clicking on the screen. Since it's the Insider Preview I'm sure they are going to fix it. Uh, second thing is that if you notice over here. Um, there is a menu which is a bit different than Windows uh, 10 that we have and if we click show more options it would show exactly the same interface that is used to be there in Windows 10. Now I don't see a point in this one when these options are appearing here same display and personalized settings why do they have it again over here. Anyway, uh, if you click on open the terminal window, it's going to open the uh, PowerShell uh, over here. And if you are further clicking, uh, plus it's opening another window. But if you are clicking on this one, you have an option for Azure Cloud Shell as well as for Chrome Command Prompt. So if you want to use the old style uh, Command Prompt, the option is appearing over here. Now uh, let's see rest of the options in this one and uh, if for example we are clicking on settings um, in another computer on which I have installed it I have noticed it that when you try to open the uh, settings from here if you will click and go to settings it's, it's giving you a green splash screen um, I don't know what's the reason for that but maybe they'll fix it. Uh, rest of the things are quite normal as they were there in the earlier version of uh, earlier release of Windows 11. I have not activated it and I have shown you the procedure to activate this version of Windows through the uh, key management server. Uh, the video is appearing on our channel. Um, one more thing which uh, they were talking about and there is a lot of discussion going on on the internet about Windows 11 is that they have included uh, HTTPS uh, DNS over HTTPS uh, privacy policy on this one and uh, we have checked it if you'll go to the Ethernet connections and then you'll change this automatic DHCP uh, to a manual one and uh, enable IPv4 enter the IP address of net mask and here you can see the preferred DNS for example if we are entering 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8, 
it's enabling this option of encrypted only DNS over HTTPS and even for the alternate also if we are entering 1.1.1.1 it encrypted over DNS and HTTPS I have tested it it's really bypassing the uh, firewall and the restrictions which you have in your region so um, uh, excellent feature uh, if you don't want to use a VPN connection uh, at least your communication of DNS over HTTPS would be encrypted and it would be secure um, the rest of the things are uh, quite normal so far um, I checked the settings on for the taskbar and uh, they have added the feature that if we want we can shift this uh, menu to the left hand side some features are not enabled over here since we have not activated this version of uh, Windows so far if we'll go to the uh, control panel for example uh, show more options and go to display settings see you saw the green splash screen that I was talking about it's uh, just displaying it over there and then we are going to personalization and we click on themes we have different themes appearing over here which you can select the cursor and the different interface for windows of course uh, we'll have to activate the windows before we can do that and if we we'll check the old style of control panel I'm sure it's there and uh, if you open it it will show the interface that used to be there in Windows 7 onwards it's exactly the same and still they have the backup and restore of Windows 7 I don't know why it's not been updated so far to Windows 10 or Windows 11. If you uh, click again on the start menu and you'll try to browse different features on this one, say Instagram and other stuff has already been added to this one. And uh, if we are right clicking and uh, we are going to the file explorer, it would show us a new interface for the icons and other things which are appearing in this version of Windows which is quite impressive so far even the top menu if you uh, look at it it's new copy paste and other options uh, it has been replaced with the typical kind of ribbon that they used to have over here uh, the overall looks of this version of Windows is quite impressive as compared to the uh, uh, Windows 10 that we are using at the moment um, it's completely overall and I'm sure that Windows is going to improve it even further once they'll release the official build of it. You can see that uh, they have added the date and time over here. So both things are appearing. There is no notification window separately appearing as it used to be there in Windows uh, uh, 10 earlier. If you click on it, it's going to show you um, the different notifications that you have for the computer uh, clear that and even if you click on the network icon if you are having a Wi-Fi connection or anything it would be appearing over here but overall really impressive uh, build of Windows which is an insider release uh, uh, which Microsoft has recently announced on their website uh, we are lo really looking forward to install it on our computers once we'll have the uh, final release of it uh, announced uh, by the Microsoft uh, sometime later this year. That's it for today guys. It's an easy tutorial how to install uh, Windows 11 Insider Preview using VirtualBox but still I would prefer using VMware Workstation Professional. That's it for today. Thank you very much.